Hello, I'm Chef Mark Goldberg here at Woodward at the new Ames Hotel, downtown Boston. We're going to make some lobster salad. What I have here is um, the meat of uh, two one and a half pound lobsters that we've cooked, cooled, taken out of the shell and cut up the meat. We're going to turn this into our, into our lobster salad that we do here. We're going to use the uh, citrus zest of lemon, lime and orange with our handy microplane. We'll get a little of the zest off these. Probably only need about a quarter of the orange, since it's a pretty good size orange. A little lemon zest. And some lime zest as well. We're also going to use the juice from these to marinate our lobster meat. Depending on how juicy your fruit is, you may use the whole fruit, but I think we're good with half of each on this. We're also going to add a pretty fair amount of salt because we want the salt to leach out some of the liquid that's in the lobster meat. We're going to squeeze all that salt out in a little bit. So we're going to let the uh, salt, the lobster, the citrus, and the juices sit and marinate in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll squeeze it out and we'll make our lobster rolls. Well, now we're going to assemble a little shaved fennel salad. Fennel's a nice licorice-y anise-flavored vegetable. Comes in a bulb, we split it in half. It's got a little bit of a core that we can just cut out. The core is edible, but it tends to be a little tough. I like to use a mandolin for this. Just be cautious with a mandolin. It is a sharp blade. Uh, it's pretty good for taking the tips of your fingers off. But we're just going to thinly shave. our fennel. And that should be plenty for what we're using today. We're going to add the juice of an orange or half an orange here. Add a little Chardonnay vinegar. This is a nice Chardonnay vinegar that we source out of Spain. We don't need too much, just a little bit of an acid component to go with an orange. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a touch of salt. We're going to let this marinate for a little bit and we're going to dress our lobster rolls with this. Now that our lobsters had a chance to marinate for the last uh, 10 minutes or so, we're going to squeeze all the excess juice that the salt is pulling out of these. So we're just going to gently but firmly squeeze out the juice. All the lemon zest and zest of the orange and lime that we put in here will stay. We're not really squeezing that out of it. But the citrus and the salt marinated the lobster and drew a lot of the moisture out of it that we can now squeeze out of it so our, our lobster salad isn't runny. So now that our lobster meat's all squeezed out, we're going to have a little bit of chopped tarragon and a little bit of mayo. I only want enough mayo in here to kind of bind it all together. Not a real mayo-y lobster salad. Just combine all those together. We don't need to add any more salt. There'll be enough salt that carried over from our marinating of the lobster meat. So that's our lobster salad. And to assemble it, we have a couple of small rolls. And we're just going to split open. We're going to take some of our marinated fennel from earlier, place that in the bottom of our roll. Spoon in some of our lobster salad.
I like to serve these with some of our, our homemade potato chips that we make here. And that's our lobster roll with marinated fennel.